Yes, my people, as the hot, it don't happen. No, I rather die than to support Peter Obi. Now, this man, they call author is the talk. This man, they, they fail to know say he not be God, and I only want vote now he get. And I like a rest TV, you can see the way a rest TV they reply this man, they pack up for this man, but they woto woto. They allow this man no say, now only one vote now he get. And this man, they forget to know say, person when they claim say he won't die for. This time people don't see two count for your fellow brothers, eh, which is the person of weekend and Peter Obi. And the person Peter Obi come for PDP and Peter Obi now your brother. We get to now your in your unit, your brother. Now forget to know these people are there for these people. They don't took out for our brass air on our city. Follow them now. Now I remember them. You don't see two count food. And please, as the watch and just share and make other people see and see drop your comments for the comment section. Okay, first, uh, Chifato is a, a prominent Igbo entrepreneur who has also had very long standing association with uh, politicians. But one thing that we must realize that he is speaking for himself and he has a right to choose his own candidate. And everybody should realize that he has only one vote. Just as uh, he as an able person and Charles Soludo have said they don't believe in the candidacy of uh, Peter B. Uh, there are also others. Chimaroke Namani, Senator Chimaroke Namani, is supporting uh, uh, Bola Metinubu even if he's in the PDP. Uche Ekunife is also not uh, supporting uh, Peter Obi. And then you have others like that, Charles Soludo. Oji Kalu is supporting uh, Bola Metinubu of the APC. So these are all prominent Igbos making their own individual choices. Would uh, Ato uh, uh, choice in the matter, will it influence anybody? Will Charles Soludo be in a position to influence anybody? I don't think so. And, you know, some people if from that Ofala festival that took place in uh, Duno Kofia, <laughs> I've, uh, I've come, out, I've come up to say this is not the position of the people of Duno Kofia, and it's not the position of Igbos. And in any case, there are persons, also Igbos, who are also prominent and who have voice, who are saying we are supporting P2B. On Twitter, I saw Francis Cardinal Rinse. I don't know whether he's the one using that Andrew or somebody using his name, saying that, look, 2023, what uh, Chief Atoizia has said, is an indication that the 2023 battle will be a battle between the rich and the poor. Mm -hmm. And he advised people to use their PVC, to go and get their PVC and vote. If it's the uh, Cardinal that is uh, truly operating that Twitter handle, what he's saying, therefore, is what we have consistently said here. That it is the people of Nigeria that will determine Absolutely. who will become president. It's not uh, one individual that will act like God. It, 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 there is no uh, you know, uh, head mentality in this matter. No, somebody cannot carry a, a one uh, of Allah, of Allah cap and say, uh, you know, we don't, uh, we don't uh, support this man. There are others like Afa Mogene. Afa Mogene is an able man. He's uh, supporting p 2 Reverend Okechuku Obioha has also spoken of, he says he's, uh, he's uh, supporting uh, P2B. Uh, Chiveze has also spoken of to say he's supporting uh, uh, P2B. These persons that I have listed, they are no less Igbo than, Absolutely. than uh, Chief uh, Atoese. But he has made his choice in the matter. And uh, the uh, P2B campaign has replied through uh, Dirone Fadi, mm. the spokesperson for the group. And he has said clearly that P2B is not running an Igbo project. Yes that is running a national project. Absolutely. He's not seeking to become president of Igbo land. He wants to be president of Nigeria. Yes. And it will be all Nigerians that will take a decision whether he should be there or not. So, and I hope uh, that uh, Chief uh, uh, Atta is against uh, that mm -hmm. message and will stop uh, uh, insisting that, oh, we have chosen our own president. <laughs> this same Chief uh, Atta is in 2015, supported Tony Nwoye, Tony Nwoye for the uh, gubernatorial election in uh, in uh, Anamra. Yes. Tony Ngoye didn't win. <laughs> in 2019, he, the candidate that he supported also did not win. Yeah. So uh, I don't see, you know, this is just one of those things okay. uh, in politics. Okay, I uh, 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 so, was considered one yes. of the kingmakers in Anamra state. I mean, what do you make of this pronouncement of him actually backing Soludo over Peter Obi as the next Nigerian president? He's also, he's, yeah, he's also in Boyo Ibe ex yes. ex ex extraction. extraction yeah. He's saying that let Atiku go and then we'll hand over to Soludo. <laughs> and I was going to, the first thing yes. that came to my mind is this presidency you are sharing.
<laughs> there is God though. Because I don't understand <laughs> how someone will decide that, okay, we'll give it to you first, and we'll give it to you first. Is that how elections are done in Nigeria? I'll just very quickly just read a tweet from another Igbo man, Queen Zimogalo, at least from that region. Mm. All presidential candidates deserve respect. Trying to delegitimize any of them is futile. Whether anyone thinks any particular candidate will win or not is simply personal opinion and immaterial. They have a right to contest. Only one will win. And guess what? Let the votes count and voters decide. All right. All right. We'll take another story.